Today I'm going to show you how to access Blue Iris outside your home without doing any sort of port forwarding or setting up a traditional VPN. I've always had some concerns about port forwarding because technically you're leaving a port basically open to the internet on your firewall. And setting up a client VPN on all of your devices just sometimes isn't practical or even possible. So how do we solve this problem? Well, with a service called Zero Tier. Before I faced this particular problem, I had heard of Zero Tier, but really never dove into what it was. Not only did it solve this problem, but I think it opens the doors to a whole new way of networking. Software-defined networking that's not limited to the firewall and the network you have in your house or in your business. In fact, the mission of the company is to directly connect the world's devices and enable a new era of decentralized computing. Pretty cool. So what the heck is it? How does it work? Think of it as similar to a VPN, but at the same time different. How it works is you build a virtual sort of global network, and this is separate from your existing local networks. You install the zero tier software on whatever device you have, laptop, phones, etc. They even have NAS and Linux and a whole bunch of different clients. And then you build out your network. And each of these devices join your network. From there, Zero Tier hosts these beacons, and your devices actually communicate up to these beacons. But it's outward traffic, outbound traffic from your network. Once your devices are joined to the network and they're communicating out to one or many of these beacons, Zero Tier is then smart enough to figure out how the traffic should best route. For example, if I have a device here and a device on the other side of my house, to proxy that traffic all the way out to zero tier and back wouldn't be smart. So zero tier figures out what's the best route for the traffic and it sends it through there. It uses a concept called UDP hole punching. Hopefully I haven't lost you already and if you're not a networking person, that's totally fine. I know I'm kind of spewing a lot of things out here, but Stick with me and we'll get it going on Blue Iris in a second. So once you've built this software defined virtual network, you can join your Blue Iris PC to that network. And in turn, Blue Iris software and the web server. Not only does this work great for my regular old Comcast internet, and now I don't have to have port forwarding on my firewall, it also works with Starlink in this carrier grade NAT scenario. And since doing this, I found a hundred other ways that I can explore zero tier, but those are for future videos. All right, so before we switch to the computer and I actually show you how to get this set up, two more things. One, everybody's asked, well, what does it cost? For most of us out there who are just doing a simple network, it's gonna to be totally free. And that's one of the best things about this. There are paid plans if you're gonna get into a very, very large network or multiple networks, if you're doing this for a business or enterprise, and it does support that. So you could pay and it's even even then it's not super expensive but for most of us it's going to be free so the second thing i'm going to get asked is is it secure and the answer is yes the traffic from each of these devices up through zero tier and back is all encrypted so it's just like a vpn in the sense that it's a tunnel and even if you were to do a packet capture like some other youtubers have done you wouldn't actually be able to see what's going through the lines really the only data that zero tier is going to be able to see are your public ip addresses from each client and where they're connecting from and if you were that paranoid you could actually host your own zero tier beacon and run this on your own but that's definitely an edge case and i think most of you will be fine with running it through zero tier so Let's switch over to the tutorial. I'll show you how to do it. It's really not that hard. Trust me, it's it's easy to set up and we'll have you up and running and then you'll be able to turn off that port forwarding and be more secure. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to zero tier.com or just Google zero tier and it's gonna bring you to their homepage. If you wanna take a look at pricing, we'll click on the pricing page just for a second. Shows you some of the statistics, network members up to 50. Like I said, for most people, that's probably gonna be fine with one admin. But if you do want to get up to the professional or enterprise level, they do have those options too. So what you're going to want to do is click sign up, enter your name, email, and create a password. Once you log in and verify your email, you're going to be brought to this page. Now you won't have any networks and I'm just blocking my main network. This is kind of a dummy network that I use just to test out here. But you want to click create network. Once you create the network, you're going to click on it. So here's the page for our network. So the first thing you can do is name the network. So we're gonna call this Blue Iris Test. And we'll call this Test Network. In most cases, you're gonna want it to be a private network, which means you will personally authorize each member of the network. This is your network ID. It'll also say it at the bottom. This is what you're actually going to type into each 
client. So your phone, your laptop, the Blue Iris PC, right here is what you're gonna need for them to join onto this virtual network. If we scroll down, you'll notice that you're automatically going to be assigned a block of IP addresses. Now you can choose one that doesn't conflict with your network. Typically these aren't because the second octet won't usually be a network that you're going to use in your home lab or your business. So generally you can just choose one or let it auto assign. Now each device that joins this network right here is going to be issued an IP, just like a DHCP IP, where like when you plug into your network and your router gives you an IP, it's just like this. These you can leave unchecked for now. All this you can leave the same, and we have no devices have joined the network. So you really don't have to do anything besides naming it on this page. When a new device tries to join, it's gonna show up here. Let's download the client. So at the top, you'll click download, and here are all the different installers you have. So Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, Linux, FreeBSD, and NAS. There is a Synology QNAP Western Digital installer, but there's others as well. In fact, there is an Unraid Docker image. But what I'm going to do is actually swipe over to my Blue Iris machine. So I'm going to minimize Blue Iris for a moment. After I've installed the Zero Tier Client, which goes really quickly, if I click on the tray here, you should see zero tier one. Now, if I give that a single click, I'll have these options. So here's my node ID that's unique to each of these devices, each computer. I'm gonna wanna click join network. Now in this box, I'm gonna put that network ID that was at the top of the page. Here's our network, Blue Iris Test. We're gonna copy this. Go back over to the Blue Iris machine. We're gonna paste it here. I'm gonna allow default, allow global, allow DNS, and allow manage. I'm gonna allow everything. And I'm going to click join. When you join to a zero tier network, it actually puts a virtual network interface on your computer. So in this case on a Windows machine, I'm gonna hit yes. If I go over to my networks and I click on change adapter settings. So here's my network interface card that I have ethernet plugged into. And now here's my zero tier network. So it's like I have two network interface cards on this computer. So let's close out of that. We'll close out of this and let's jump back over to zero tier. Here's the Blue Iris machine. It says it's online. Behind this notepad is my public IP address that it sees. Now this red dotted line means it's not authorized yet on my zero tier network. So how do I do that? You click the checkbox, it turns green, and now it says online. And shortly, an IP address will show up here because it will be handed out on that network card an IP address, there you go. And it even shows the version of the client. Okay, our first device is now joined to our zero tier network. Let's swipe back over to our Blue Iris machine. We'll open up Blue Iris and we're actually going to close the program. This way the program sees that new network card. So we're gonna do yes, we're gonna close it, and then we're gonna reopen it. So once Blue Iris is open, you're gonna click on the gear icon. So you're gonna click on web server. Normally you'll have your external address, your WAN address here, and your internal address here. And these should look pretty familiar, but you'll notice adapters. And now when you click this dropdown, you should see an additional adapter. Now this is the IP address of your zero tier network. This is the IP that's been assigned to this Blue Iris machine. So if I click that, you'll notice that it still adds the port to it. And if I click OK, now Blue Iris, the Blue Iris web server, is on that zero tier IP address. The cameras themselves are still connected to the regular 192.168 IP address, but the web server itself is on a different network adapter. Your zero tier network is now set up, your Blue Iris machine is now added to it, 
and Blue Iris, the web server in Blue Iris is connected to Zero Tier. So what's left? Well, now your devices that you want to be able to connect remotely from need to have Zero Tier on them as well and be on the network. Grab your iPhone or Android phone or iPad or MacBook or whatever you have and download the Zero Tier client. And the app is really simple to navigate. You're just going to hit the plus sign in the upper right hand corner, accept the terms of service. You're going to enter that same network ID that we see at the top of the page in the zero tier dashboard. We're going to enable default route. We'll use network DNS and we'll click add network. Now it's going to pop up and say zero tier would like to add VPN connections. We're going to hit allow. It'll ask for your pin. So you'll see your network there. You'll just have to hit the toggle switch and the device will connect. But remember, there's one more thing we have to do. We have to go accept this connection on our dashboard. So we're back over on the computer now and you'll see I have the red dotted line. So we're going to hit the check mark and in just a second, it'll be issued an IP in the same network as our blue iris machine. And there we go. 192.168.193. Dot 185. This one's 102. So now my phone and the Blue Iris PC are on the same virtual private network. Now you might say, well, what happens when I leave the house or the firewall is not going to let that connection in? This is where the secret sauce of Zero Tier happens, where that Blue Iris PC is talking to the beacon. My phone is now talking to the beacon, and then they're going to figure out how to communicate outside of the confines of a firewall and getting traffic in and out of it. But there's one more thing you have to do in the Blue Iris app on your device before we can view our cameras. So let's open up the Blue Iris app and click edit. Now what's there is going to be a LAN IP and WAN IP. Okay, so now that we're connected and our Blue Iris PC is connected and our app has all the correct information in it, let's open back up Blue Iris and we should see our cameras. There we are. No open ports on the firewall, no client VPN, so double NAT or carrier grade NAT or any weird situations, it'll get through and we're able to see our cameras and it's good quality, perfect quality. So if you found this helpful, give me a thumbs up. Like I said, if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. Excited to hear what you guys think of this. And lastly, if you like this kind of content, subscribe to the channel. We do lots of Blue Iris videos, tutorials. So with that said, we will see you in the next video. Take care.